and welcome to the third tutorial of the WSO2 API Managers tutorial series. In the previous tutorial, we looked at how an application developer could come and register himself on the API store and register his application and consume the API using tools on the API store and other tools as well. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how application developers can make use of the social and sharing features available on the API store. To start off with, I will be logging in the API store as an application developer and I will click on the weather API. You will notice that it provides me a way to rate this API. If I am happy about it, its features and performance etc I could give it a good rating and this rating is displayed publicly for all other users. If you scroll down a little bit on this section you will see that it provides me a way to leave comments on this API. Such comments can be seen below and you could add your comments in here as well. The social sites section allows you to talk about your API in social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, Google, etc. For example, if you want to tweet about this API, you could click on this link, which would open up a page on Twitter, which you could use to log in and to quickly tweet about this API. You could do the same with other sites as well. The embed section gives you an iframe which you could use to embed on your personal blogs, articles and other documents. The email section, when you click on it, opens up your OSS default email client which you could use to email about this API to your colleagues etc. The forum section allows you to collaborate with other application developers. For example, if you have a query, you could create a topic such as this. If you have questions you could post them as uh, forum topics and other users could come in and uh, discover these uh, questions and answer them. To demonstrate that I will be using another browser session where I have uh, another application developer called Simon. So Simon could log in using his credentials and he would discover this API and see its rating and he could also provide his own rating as well and if he goes into the forum section he will see that there is a has, has a question been raised so he could click on it and if he knows the answer he could provide his uh, answers in here so Simon knows the site that the new one could find his answers so he provides in here and submits its answer on the forum. So the original creator, once he goes in, would see uh, if any answers had been uh, provided and he could click on that and view the answers that had been provided. The forum comes in two flavors where there is a public forum to discuss about public things on the API store as well as there is also a forum section which talks about a particular API only. For example, this section is bound to this particular API whereas the other forum topics which I do not have any at the moment are public and are not bound to a particular API. So in this tutorial we looked at all the social and sharing features available on the WSO2 API store. In the next tutorial we will be talking about how to create API documentation and share them publicly for application developers to discover. Thank you.